Hey guys, just a follow up to my video with the issues with Ford Sync and Siri. Um, I was able to roll back the software. Uh, for those of you who haven't watched the other video, uh, I'll link to it here. But uh, when Ford upgraded Sync in the Gen 1 uh, Ford cars, uh, they call it My Ford, I think it was called. Um, this is a non touch screen the gen 1 systems so I'm in a 2013 Ford Focus 4.6 update broke Siri integration you couldn't pre previously you could hold down your home button on your phone and Siri would work through the the audio system um, 4.6 broke that so I was able uh, by going online and searching around uh, to find an older version 4.4 and I was able to downgrade to that um, this is you know so I've posted that in the comments of the original video and people have met with mixed success um, so we're not sure if perhaps there are different flavors of of these uh, sync softwares floating around and you need to have the one specific to your model or what the deal is but I was able to downgrade so I just wanted to show people I'm not sure how to to show the software version. I didn't see anything in the sync settings that was um, that indicated the the actual software version. I'm sure there's something, but I couldn't find it. So before, I'm gonna just hold this down, holding the home button. Sync comes on. I can't sing. Well, Siri's listening to me, but Siri came on to me. Um, so I'm gonna just call somebody. Do it again. Call Tim. <sighs> Call Tim Cook. Which phone number for Tim Cook? iPhone, work, or home? iPhone. Calling Tim Cook, iPhone. Obviously, I don't have Tim Cook's phone number. That's just a fake. Uh, number you can hang up yeah you can hang up from the steering wheel um, so that works uh, you can you know use Siri to open something open maps so she'll open maps um, you can get her to play your music. Play music shuffled. It takes it a second, but it'll do it. Playing all songs shuffled. It's a little slow, but it, it usually works. Sometimes you have to, this is it's buggy. So sometimes you have to, see it's playing, but there's no, I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, I don't know why this song came up, but. Uh, so you'll see it's playing, but there's no audio. So sometimes you have to go. Line in. Please say a command. Bluetooth audio. Bluetooth audio. So sometimes the audio, the Bluetooth audio, won't kick over from the phone to to the Bluetooth audio on its own. So you have to pull your your lever on your steering wheel to activate the sync software tell it bluetooth audio like i just did and then then you'll be fine if a call comes in it'll take the call you can take the call through the system now i'm going to hit my next button on the steering wheel you can see i can cycle through my songs
so that works um sometimes it gets buggy like i try to search Search, search the web for how to boil an egg. Looking. Now, occasion My web search turns something up for how to boil an egg. Have a look. So occasionally when you do this and the same thing happens with... Oh, see there, just did it. it. The call ended. If you don't tap the screen before Sync does its thing, um, it kicks you out of that choice. And see, now it's gone right back to playing the music and the other thing it'll do sometimes is when you get into the car if you had the music going it'll can pick up where it left off or it'll start start your music without you telling it to do anything so my guess is they that all probably worked in 4.6 so maybe that was what they fixed but when they fixed that stuff they broke the siri functionality and my main deal is that i i use siri to call i i don't like my ford sync um the way she wants you to call people you can't call people by their you know like if it's mom you can't call mom you have to say their name um so i just it, i don't like it i prefer to use one voice recognition system at siri uh so despite the bugs on this version um it does what i need it to do it doesn't do any of the f fancy stuff that supposedly my ford sync does I, I, I but i never used any of that anyway so anyway that's an update this is uh 4.4 like i said i was able to roll it back ford has told people that it's impossible to roll your software back one guy commented on the other video uh totally not true i i did it so um i guess that's it for this and hopefully people find this helpful if anybody's got any questions um, feel free to leave me some comments. Uh, like I said, I'll link to the other video. That video has links to the 4.4 software that has worked for some people. Seems like people with uh, F-150s are having trouble. But I'm not entirely sure that everybody is on the same generation of, of sync. Uh, this is for a Gen 1 sync, and I think they're up to Gen 3. All right, talk to you guys later.